Hello, Mr. India Curry House. Yes, we have chicken kebab, but okay, one butter chicken. Yes, sir. We deliver everywhere. I repeat your order. One butter chicken, one spicy biryani. Your address, please. Singapore. Is it a suburb? Another country? Hey, Mumbai, da, India. After 13 years, the guy still calls me for butter chicken. Hello, I close shop already. I fly to Singapore. This is Sengkang, da. Singapore. I am Vari PBSS and I went viral in 2008. You all would have seen that video. Right now I look a bit bigger. That time I was a bit smaller size. It was the Mumbai Da advertisement. Yes, the M1 advertisement. It was done by my friend Yi Chang Kang. One day out of the blue, he called me. He said, hey, buddy, I got an M1 advertisement to be able to play a role in it. Initially, I've never done advertisement. So I said, hey, are you sure you want me to do this? He said, yeah, yeah, I think you'll be appropriate for this. So I said, okay. I never imagined that this advertisement will become viral and it will actually garner so much of uh, interest. That particular line, Mumbai da India, you know, that line became so viral. And the funny thing was, that phrase was something that we workshopped. It was not even in the script. Many people do not know that I was actually a child artist. Um, I started off when I was 10 years old. I started off in radio. Then after that, I did stage plays. That's where I honed my skills, whether it was theatre or singing or, you know, acting. Then after that, 17, 18 years old, we started a theatre group called Ravindran Drama Group under the name of Ravindran. He passed away at a very young age and we renamed the group under his name. We staged a lot of plays and we cultivated a theatre going culture among the Tamil community especially. And we went to schools to do workshops and that kind of an impetus to do more TV programs also because somehow TV had a bigger outreach and that's when they realized, wow, oh, so this guy has been doing programs before that. But the non-speaking Tamil community, they did not know me until this advertisement just exploded. There were non-Tamil speaking writers and producers who wanted to write for me. And that's when I started to act in like teleserials like uh, Calafair. Uh, later on the pupil and stuff like that but I wasn't able to fully immerse myself in the series because of the fact that I was still pursuing a career in teaching. Also people come and talk to you, hey how come you're making a fool of yourself on TV, la, jumping around doing comedy, how are you going to have a serious uh, career in teaching and stuff like that. What was interesting was my students actually going there and putting their comments, they're saying hey he's actually teaching in polytechnic, he's my teacher you know and they kind of put it there although I did lose some control in my classrooms. When I tried to reprimand then they would suddenly go Mumbai da and that, that's it the whole class cracks up. I think one most unforgettable thing happened to me which made me continue in showbiz. I see one Indian parent coming to the school and he was finding some difficulty to walk and he was walking towards me in the principal's office so I went up to him to ask him whether he needs help to the office or anything. Then he said no I want to talk to you. When he said that first thing that came to my mind was oh my god what did I do? Did I get some student into trouble or something like that? And then he started to say some very kind words which I still remember today. Avadi, whatever you are doing on TV, it's God's uh, boon and thank you very much. Because people like me who suffer, we are able to see you on TV and we are able to laugh and forget about our sufferings. So thank you for that and please continue doing it and uh, not everyone can do this. That made me kind of tell myself, whatever people say, well, it's for that man. Watching it and laughing and forgetting about their suffering. After the viral video in 2008, I kind of disappeared from their radar. 2009 is when I'm actually quitting teaching and I was going into my JD program at SMU. So I studied law there for two and a half years. During the time, I was still doing a lot of uh, Tamil programs, series, comedies, teleserials or hosting shows. I was doing a lot of things actually, but I kind of put a stop to it in 2012 complete stop to all showbiz life because uh, I joined the Attorney General's Chambers. I became a Deputy Public Prosecutor and I realized that no, I want to do more stuff. I want to do writing for TV, the stage. So I quit my day job <laughs> and I've come back. Now I've started to do uh, some work in Tamil TV and there are some opportunities on the English front also. So I'm doing some English programs also. So keep watching. I think the biggest takeaway from this uh, video becoming viral is this. Don't take life too seriously because you ain't gonna get out of it alive anyway. The most important thing is you must enjoy what you're doing. And of course, you must also spread the joy.
it's very easy to make a person cry but it's very difficult to make a person laugh and if you're able to make someone laugh and you know at that moment them forgetting about their problems their troubles their sorrows and enjoying it with you i think that's the biggest gift that you can give anyone and i'm just happy that i'm able to do that hi i'm vadi pvss and you are watching viral video stars